My colleagues and I have freed over 80,000 children. But that is not enough. First of all, that was very intense and definitely very eye-opening. Well, if I was a parent, like, I'd be heartbroken. I can't imagine, like, the fear that the parents are feeling knowing that their kids are gone. How often do you guys think about the production of the clothes oh, when you're in the process of buying it? I'm gonna be honest, I don't think about who makes my clothes and things like that. And knowing that there are children, yes, I feel sad about it, but I probably still wouldn't change where I shop or how much I spend on things. It's, it sounds like bad, but I'm just being honest. I mean, it doesn't honest. sound bad. I think that's the majority of perspective of people who shop. Whenever I see someone and they're like, oh, I got this thing for $2, I'm like, from the thrift store? And they're like, no. I'm just like, oh, well, mm, I don't know about that. Meaning what? Like, they got like, it for $2? It's like stuff that's like really cheap, but it's because it's used child labor. Honestly, if it's more expensive for them not having to make it or like a child not having to make it, then I just save more money and just make sure that it's something that's been made in a safer way where someone doesn't have to suffer for it. Like, I wouldn't just go buy it because it's cheap. I'd really think about it then. And we tend to not care about things until they happen personally. It's just a new story until it happens to you. It needs to be shown more. Do you think if most people saw the direct effects of the purchase they make and who's involved in the production of those purchases, would it help change people's patterns, or at least make them more socially conscious of, of the brands they work with and work and buy from? I just have this feeling that it wouldn't change a lot of Americans' opinions because Americans as a whole, like we just have this idea that like ignorance is bliss. And since like things like this are such a taboo topic, it's not really going to be brought up to anyone's attention. Nowadays, the companies they want to go the cheapest route. Like, they're all about their money, whatever puts the money in their pockets, so they'll sacrifice whatever's necessary. So if we don't buy their products, then we may force them to... Make a change. To make a change, yeah. I'm sorry. Unless it starts with really um, acknowledging, like, the bigger picture, acknowledging that it's not just about us. Well, let me ask you this. How many of you believe that we it's necessary we recycle to save the environment and save for our future? How many of you Jeez. don't recycle all the time? We know what's happening. We know we should, but many times we don't really follow through with it. And we assume then what's one person? You know, what's one purchase? If I buy it, you know, it doesn't matter. In the past, I think a lot of us could pretend we didn't know what was happening, but now with social media, we're connected to everybody. How do you think your generation can use social media and can use those tools to, to bring awareness and actually make some global change? We're very united. I'll say that about our generation, and we can make a change. We just have to stop being selfish. Just put a time out on what we want and make a change. We can do it. So do you think the fact that we know about these situations, it will start to shift momentum to people, be more socially conscious, not only how they live their lives, but the purchases they make, especially with companies that may use child labor or slave labor? For a lot of people, it's easy to sympathize for one day and then forget about it. And I feel like that's a huge problem with our world today. It's not that there's so many bad people that outnumber the good people. It's just the fact that good people don't do anything. Because if a good person did something towards the earth every single day, we wouldn't be in such a problem that we are in right now. In America, mostly it's all about yourself. You're self-absorbed, like worry about you. We don't say it verbally, but it's also like how we <coughs> interact with them, how we speak to them, is always like, worry about yourself. If we're teaching them and showing them things that make them worry about other people, not just themselves, they'll grow up with that. And they'll grow up with that trait to think, maybe I should worry about other people, not just me. It's harder to change when you're older. It's harder to like, you know, conform when you're older. But when you're trying, to, when you're teaching that at a younger age, it's, it's easier to do. With any issue, I think that nothing is going to change until someone steps up and talks about it. I think it's good to talk about the things that make people uncomfortable because people don't talk about things that make them cringe or that scare them because they don't like to think about it. We should be more comfortable being uncomfortable.